Well, with my son, who's older, uh, puberty was not that big a deal. He became a larger, hairier, smellier boy. And I, that's essentially what puberty is in boys. I mean, because let's be honest, men are nothing more than large, hairy, smelly boys. Not a big change. With girls, it's radical. Puberty is very, very different in girls. We need to find a cure for puberty in girls because it is a radical transformation. Um, she was, they, you know, in my daughter's case, anyway, she went to the little girl, princess, loved her dad, wanted me to tell her stories, that kind of thing. Suddenly, boom, she's this woman, this like grown woman walking around. And first of all, she doesn't have any time anymore for her dad or her mom. There's no time for parents in general because girls are very social, but only with other girls. So like she is, she's now 14 and she is close personal friends, best friends with every other 14 year old girl, as far as I can tell in North America. And they're all connected on this social network you know, various platforms, and each one of them emits every 10 to 15 seconds a text or something updating her status. So my daughter has to keep track, of course, of her 19 million 14-year-old friends, which means she has to look at her phone all day long, all the time, like this. So she can't look at me for five seconds because she would miss like 80 or 90 important updates from her friends. LOL, 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 LOL. So, so that's one thing. Then there's boys. You know, when she's a little girl, she's not, she doesn't really care that much about boys. But then all of a sudden, not only does she care about boys, but boys care about her. And they're all over the place. They're on our lawn. They're on our roof. They're in the trees. They're like squirrels. They're everywhere. Um, and, and I know what they're thinking because I used to be a boy. I'm a male. I know what males are thinking. We're scum. We're all scum. Okay? We don't want this gender around our daughter. Um, my, my solution to that problem would be traps, like a humane steel trap on the lawn. So when a boy came, it would have like a, some kind of bait that would attract 14-year-old boys, like fireworks or a video game, something like that. And it would be a clang, you know, and it'd go out and then there'd be a boy in the trap on the lawn. And, and I would, I'm, you know, I'm not talking anything violent. I live in Miami. I would drive him out into the Everglades and release him in a humane manner. But my wife, who's a woman, she's been a woman her whole life, doesn't know what men are thinking, what boys are thinking. So she lets them into the house, and it's, it's pretty scary. I went, my, my daughter, uh, when she was 13, loved Justin Bieber. She's 14 now, so she doesn't love him anymore. She loves something called One Direction. But then she was 13, and she wanted to go to a Justin Bieber concert. I took her, and it was the loudest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I've been, to, I've been in a hurricane, okay? The whole, I was in Hurricane Andrew, went right over my house. Hurricane Andrew, the whole thing was not as loud as the girl sitting to my right at the Justin Bieber concert. You know, like every time Just, Justin Bieber would run by, going, ah! screaming, I love you, Justin. Because girls, the way they show they're happy is they cry. Like, I mean, they sound like they're having surgery without anesthesia. That's when they're really happy. Um, and anyway, Justin Bieber went running by and running by. So like, his concert is more like a track meet. You know, he just keeps running around, running around. And at one point, he took, he took off his shirt, which was pretty silly, I thought. Because he, he doesn't have a – he's not Channing Tatum. You know, he, he looks – he's got the same body as the Geico Gecko. But he took his shirt and then, ah, Justin, I love you. So that was that. So that's – anyway, that's the one, another one. There's actually a bunch of essays in this book that are unrelated to parenting. Well, we, I think we used to be more manly. People, guys used to be able to fix things. They used to do things. And now, like, generally we're getting soft. We, you know, we, we, don't even, we don't even flush our own urinals. Guys don't. You know, you use the urinal. There's a little red thing there. And it's connected with somebody. I don't know who they know. And they flush it for you. They go, okay, he's ready now. Nope, nope, hold it. Okay, now, you know. Um, so I, we, we think it's like we're being manly if we successfully install an app on our phone. I mean, we've lost the pioneer Spirit. So I have a chapter of unmanliness talking about how to do certain things, how to jumpstart a car, how to cook a steak, that kind of thing. Uh, and also tips on what to wear. Like, um, here's a tip. Do not wear capri pants.